it's Miss Cook here. Today, your task for English is to sequence the events from the story, The Great Kapok Tree. Now, hopefully you've already had the opportunity to watch the video of the story from our school website. If not, stop this video here and go and while you watch the story before you carry on. So, as I've said, today we're going to be sequencing the story based on when the events happen and this is the worksheet that you will be completing. You can see that there's loads of different pictures of different animals and parts of the story that happen. To, together we're going to sequence three of the pictures. Now they're not necessarily in this order but we're going to see if you can work, remember which ones visit the man first. So here are my three animals. Can you name them to start with? See if you can remember what they are called. This one is called a sloth. What are these animals here? That's right, they're monkeys. And then here we've got a snake. And this type of snake is called a boa constrictor. So thinking back to the story of the great kapok tree, which animal visits the sleeping man first out of these three? Have a think back. You might need to re-watch the video if you're not sure. That's right, the boa constrictor visits the man first. Which one visits the man next? The monkeys, well done. So the monkeys visit the man and then later on in the story, the sloth visits the man. So there we have just sequenced these three pictures based on when they happen in the story. So your task for today is to use this sheet to sequence the events that take place. You can either write the numbers 1 to 13 next to them based on when they happen, or you can cut them out and stick them on a piece of paper or place them on a piece of paper based on their order. If you need to, you can always re-watch the story off the video on our class page to help you and you can watch this as many times as you like. Good luck.